This is how we create an Xcode project in our IPC144 Works repository to do our C programming. So what we are going to do is um, open Xcode first, then click on create a new Xcode project. From types of templates that we want, select Mac OS and command line tools. So usually when you're going in it's on multi-platform app, select on Mac OS and command line tool. Click on next. Then uh, for product name is actually the project name. So what uh, you can do over here, for example, if you're doing workshop one, you can, um, you're doing lab of workshop one, you can do over here lab and you can, uh, for the organization identifier, you can put something like IPC144 NBB Workshop 1. That's what I selected last time. So it just adds a comment. There is nothing else. But this lab thingy that you see over here, that's actually going to be the name of the directory of the project. For the language, there are a few of them. Select C. So that's going to be the language. And click on Next. then select IPC works and inside IPC works that's the uh, IPC 144 works that's your repository and that's where you want to create uh, uh, first your workshop so in IPC works we're gonna I'm gonna first create a new folder and I'm gonna call that workshops So that's the workshops repository and in, uh, workshops directory. And in that one, I'm going to create another one and I'm going to call it WS1 for workshop one. So I know that this is workshop one. Now in here is the place I want the lab to be created because each workshop has two parts. This is the lab part that I'm adding. So I'm going to click on create and then it's going to create it for me. And there you go. It's created. Forget about all these. You click on C main so it creates actually uh, uh, um, double click on that it creates a main for you a sample thing that you can actually run a hello world application uh, but uh, it creates a, a nested uh, lab directory over here so as you see if we actually go to finder you will see that in IPC 144 works there is workshops that we created and there is WS1. Inside here, there is a lab and again, another lab directory, which goes like that. So if you want it uh, not to be nested like this, it's very straightforward. You can actually uh, take this and put it in the previous directory and just remove this, this directory from here. You can just uh, uh, remove directory and get rid of it. So you're going to have only one directory over there like that. So we call this, it, this is the main and the name of this file is main.c. So when it writes C over here, that's the type. Main is the name of the uh, uh, file. The file that we want for our lab is lab1.c. So I'm going to click over here and name it lab1. So the name of the file is now lab1. If I go back to Finder again, as you see now, I have WS1 lab and this is lab1.c. Remove all the stuff that you have inside the main and write over here void instead include standard input output is there there is no problem we don't need this comment over here and you can run your application by hitting the play button over here so if you click on play it actually runs your program and opens a little window over here as you see you can make it bring it higher this actually becomes your program and your program runs so you can start uh, doing your code over here um, and the next time you want to open this, all you need to do is to click on Lab Xcode Proj over here, and that's going to open your project exactly as you left it.